I think he went way too far. I think if if I had a relationship with Tony where he would listen to anything that I had to say, it would be to not sell. This is not the time to pull your pants down and show the world your ass. This is not the time to overreact. This is not the time to get over emotional. This is not the time to bring bring up something as personal as, as he did with regard to his mother and her health and then tie it into the evil WWE. This is not the time. And he may feel that way. And I'm sure Tony has family and friends that he can talk to. But talking about how much you hate a certain amount of the audience with your heart and soul, it was not the time. Even if he believes it, it's not the time. It's just... Tony, the individual, did not do himself any favors. And Tony Khan, the president of AEW, did not do the brand any favors. And he did not do the network that he's in partnership with any favors. You have to have a level of judgment. And there are things, there are things I want to say right now on this podcast that I'm not going to say for because it's not the right time. It's just not. And I, that's where judgment comes in. You've got to have the ability and the discipline to not say the things or do the things sometimes that we all want to say and do in certain situations because you know, vis-a-vis better judgment, that in the long run it will work against you and not for you. And I think, unfortunately, That judgment was ignored, or perhaps it's not there. I don't know. But the tweets and and the things that we saw absolutely accomplished nothing other than damaging the brand and the product overall and its potential. It's just, it's just you, you have to learn judgment. And you're not just the individual anymore. When you're, when you're the president of a company and you're representing your product and you're representing your network, quite honestly, your emotions don't fucking matter at the end of the day. Not in that role. You know, one of the things used to drive me crazy about Vince is I couldn't get him to sell. Mm. I couldn't get him to sell. Now, eventually he did. Yeah in a big way when he abandoned his previous business model to replicate what we had been doing to him for over a year by that time. Um, <clears throat> that was the biggest sell ever for me, but as the leader, you can't sell like that. You just can't. It's, it's bad for your business. It's bad for the morale of the, talent that's on your roster it's not good 